we've all seen RV industry quality tank in recent years. So today, I'm going to give you the top three warning signs that you need to look for whether you're buying a new RV, a used RV, or you want to make sure the one that you're living in right now isn't falling apart around you. Happy Sunday, everybody. It's Robin with Creativity RV. I hope you're all doing well out there. I am doing great. As you can see, I'm standing inside of my fifth wheel. Now, if you follow my channel, you know that I normally travel full time in a little 16 foot Bambi Airstream that is right there outside this window. But I do have a fifth wheel that is kept mostly in storage that I stay in almost every winter when I visit family in Colorado. But I wanted to take that fifth wheel out of storage this year to make sure that I did some routine maintenance because I've learned if I don't do that, then it can lead to some really heinously expensive repairs. So today we're lucky because I've got my friend Deb here from Deb's RV Services. She's a certified inspector and she's going to give us the top three things she looks for on new RV purchases, used RV purchases, or existing RVs that you're living in so that you know that you're not having problems in the RV that can turn into an expensive repair. Everybody, this is Deb with Deb's RV Services and she's going to tell us from her experience inspecting RVs what the top three things are to look for. What are the top three things, Deb? The roof, the sidewall delamination, and the slides. Why are those the top three things? Because all three things can lead to major repairs, lots of money. Let's start at the top with the roof. So with the roof, you want to look for any holes in the ceiling or cracks. So if you're looking at a new RV, you can even find holes in the sealant on top of the roof and you want to get those repaired right away. You don't know how long it's been sitting out at the dealership and if there's been rain or anything and, and any water will get in there. I mean, the tiniest hole will get water intrusion. If you're looking at an older RV, you also want to make sure that the roof has been cared for because if it hasn't been cared for, then chances are there has been water intrusion inside that roof. Is it like, you know, you have the bead of sealant and you're just looking for a little crack. I never know that. Are you looking for a bubble? How obvious does it have to be? It's going to be pretty obvious because what happens is as you have sealant placed on the roof, even with new RVs, it's going to dehydrate over a period of time. And so as it dehydrates, you're going to form little bubbles. You're going to form, then it's going to turn into a hole or little cracks are going to form and then those cracks are going to get deeper. So you want to get those taken care of as soon as you start to see those cracks and holes form. Let's say that there were holes and there were cracks and it was not taken care of. What kind of damage do you see happening underneath the roof that creates these really expensive repairs or makes the RV start to fall apart around you? So what happens is when I see stuff like that, I go on the inside to where the cracks are. So for instance, if it's a um, like a sunroof, I will go inside the area where, or the skylight. I always call it a sunroof. They are awful. They leak all the time. They, they do. Yeah. And you go into the bathroom area and you look inside and you can see sometimes staining. You can see where there's, um, you can sometimes see delamination on the inside on the roof wall. And then, or you look for rot inside cupboards. You can oh. find that in there. Okay, so on the ceiling outside of the cupboards, what do you see? Do you see like things sagging? Do you see staining? What are you looking for? You see staining sometimes. So you can see that around trim. You can see things starting to bubble. Maybe it's wallpaper that is starting yes. to bubble. Mm -hmm. Then you feel with your hand. And if it is soft you, and you can press in, you know that there's water in there. Right. But the thing is, is it spreads over time. So if you have the beginning stages of it, if you don't get it taken care of, then it will continue to spread and that whole area will rot. Okay, can I admit something kind of embarrassing? Sure. Considering that I have been a nomad for so long, I really have never gotten up on my own roof. I'm kind of scared of heights. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why I bought new in the beginning because I thought they were gonna be brand new, they're gonna be perfect, there's not gonna be any problems. Not true, she inspects new vehicles all the time. As an RV inspector, you go up on the roof, you go down below, you crawl in all those areas in the cubbies and cargo areas, but you have to be careful because you can injure yourself and I injured my back. Yeah, I remember that, we've been friends for a couple of years and her back hurt for the longest time. And um, so I turned her on to Brooklyn bedding because my Brooklyn bed 
um, in my Airstream made the biggest difference for me. And I know that Debbie got one because yes. we were camping together. We were boondogging outside of Tucson. She had it delivered to the area and I helped her put it in. We're going to show you that in case you guys need a bed. This is the platform for Debbie's old mattress. I think it's going to be a lot better with the new one. What do you think? I think so too. Okay, we're going to go get it out of her car and bring it in the door. Okay, Debbie's going to be careful not to actually cut the mattress right. while she cuts the plastic. But wait, Debbie. Yeah. You don't want to do it till it's in place. Oh. Because the minute the plastic comes off, it poofs up. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Well, come on. Oh, my gosh. It's expanding. Okay, the bed is now in place. Debbie, of course, is using scissors. Instead of a knife. Instead of a knife. Because so she'd... Oh, look. I've learned my lessons the hard way. Oh, wait. I'm going to back up so people can see it poof. Look at that. It puffed up right away. And this has got the pillow top to it as well. So You're going to be so princess in the pee. <laughs> yeah. This is where I spend eight hours a night. So it needs to be quality. She's going to try it out even though it's not inflated yet. I bet it's going to feel so different. Wow. Oh my God. This is awesome. I chose the signature hybrid and medium firmness. Debbie has chosen the Aurora Lux. If you go on their website, they have a whole bunch of different mattresses to choose from. They also have a 120 night sleep trial. So you can check it out along with a 10 year warranty. That mattress is shipping from their factory in Arizona. They're able to use premium materials at a reasonable price without a middleman bringing up the cost. Check out rvmattress.com. I've put the link below and a coupon for a 25% discount. What's the second thing people need to look out for? Delamination. This is delamination and it's coming from the fridge vent area. You can see it all along here. See how it bubbles out? So there's uh, water behind there, some water damage. You can even see, look down here. See that bubbling right there? Same thing. It's a possibility of water intrusion. Delamination can happen along the sidewall especially. So as an inspector, I go out there and I'm looking at the sidewall to see if there's any type of delamination. And if there is, you really kind of want to run from that RV. It, it, it means that the water has spread so much that it is now pulling away and the sidewall is actually pulling away and it's, it's causing it to bubble and you can see it. Sometimes it's minor and sometimes it's major. There's water in there and possibly rot. Right, because underneath that fiberglass is plywood. Basically right? it's plywood and most of the RVs and there's, it's, you know, there's glue and it's the same thing with, as with a roof, there's glue underneath that rubber membrane and mm -hmm. as that gets water in it, it separates because it's not holding anymore. And right. so you'll start to see little bubbles. Right. And that happens with the sidewall too. Well, the thing is, is that I have inspected brand new RVs and there's separation and bubbles in the roof and the manufacturers will say it's normal. But what do so you think? I don't think it is. And a lot of times you'll see it, like I've seen it around water heaters or refrigerator areas, things that have water, like in the kitchen areas. And you'll see it. Um, but I've also, I mean, it can really be anywhere because I've seen a whole back end full of delamination just because there wasn't proper sealant on the roof and they, there were screws up there that didn't have coverage and the water got in and just slowly crept down the whole back of the RV and caused that whole back panel to get delaminated. Where And so the tech had to go in and remove that whole panel, rebuild it, put new wood in there, oh, and then God. put the fiberglass back up. Okay, you've heard about the roof, you've heard about delamination. What's number three? The slides, which is huge. Yeah. And you really want to check out a slide, especially underneath on that floor because slide floors are notorious for getting water damage. It can happen through the, the uh, gear, the screws, if there's not sealant around the tracks. And so what happens is you can look on the floor. I'm sorry, you said sealant around the tracks and my face went, oh, I haven't checked the sealant around the tracks. Go on. So yeah, 
there's a track like on the Schwintech system. Okay. And there are little screws along the top of it. Oh. And yeah. I like there's sometimes butyl tape behind there, but I like to add a little bead of silicone sealant along the top because water can get down in there and then it can rot out your floor. So what I look for is I look for that and I look on the floor itself and I look for any staining. So sometimes it can just look like water stains, just markings. And I'm looking on that floor and I'm also feeling around and seeing if anything seems spongy. Um, if I'm looking for rot, mm -hmm. I'm going to see it's almost gets like a puffiness mm -hmm. to it. And then you can try to find like little tears in it because you'll start to see there's this fabric underneath some of these slides. Now, not all slides have the fabric, but some of them do. And you'll start to see it tear. And what I do is I try to look inside that little tear and see if I can find any sign of rot. Mm -hmm. Or I'll look at screw heads and bolts. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you'll see like rust around it. Mm -hmm. Which means mm. water has gotten in that area. You can see staining on the floor underneath and not feel any softness yet. It doesn't mean that it won't rot over time. It doesn't mean that there's not water in there and it won't right. rot over time. Right. Roof. Make sure everything is sealed. You don't see any cracks and any bubbles. Yep. And delamination. Go up to the side of your rig and look from the side and see if you see any ripples. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. And then for the slide wall floor... Look underneath. Look on the underneath outside. and make sure everything is sealed and you don't see any water damage or rot. Stains like that could lead to rot, um, or rusty bolts underneath, mm -hmm. or any signs that it seems puffy or soft. Yeah. Under there. Deb, if people want to get an inspection from you on a new or used rig, how can they do that? You can go to my website under DebsRVServices.net. And or you can email me at DebsRVServices at gmail.com. Or you can also find me on YouTube under Debs RV Services. Yes, and I will put all those links below for Deb. And um, thanks so much. Not everybody has access to a Deb <laughs> like I do. Well, not everybody has an access to a rabbit. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's <laughs> true. Um, okay, you guys. Thanks so much. And I hope you all have a good week. I'll see you next week with an all new video. Until then. Everybody out there, have happy travels and be free.